Hi everybody, this is Mr. Bureau from Staten Island Tech. Today we're going to be looking at the erase command and also different ways of selecting objects inside CAD when performing the erase command or any other command. First, let's talk about whether or not you're going to select the command before selecting objects or pre-selecting the objects and then selecting the command. Uh, the truth is that either way is typically okay for any type of command inside AutoCAD. Um, I would recommend getting the command activated first because you're going to see more direction on the screen as far as like instructions inside the command bar um, and you may even see a few more options pop up on the fly. So first I'll do that. I will select the erase command from the ribbon and I will just choose uh, a number of objects with the selector and then I'll press enter to accept and they're gone. Uh, as I said before you can pre-select them by again choosing them and then activating the command. This time I'll activate the command with the keyboard by just pressing E and then pressing enter. So that's a different way of keyboard inputting the command for erase. Erase is an essential command which is why it also has a one letter shortcut. So that's one of the ways you would uh, get rid of something. There is also a very, very dedicated keyboard shortcut called the, the, the delete key. So if I just select an object and press the delete key, I want you to take notice over here on the command bar, it actually will activate the erase command by just pressing the delete key. And obviously you're gonna have to pre-select the objects first for that. All right, that's a very simple thing. Uh, the next is a little bit more complicated. I want you to take notice on what happens like when you click the mouse buttons when nothing is selected. If I click and drag the mouse button, the left mouse button, you'll see uh, something called a fence being drawn. And in this case, my fence being drawn is green with a broken line. If I do the same thing and click and drag to the right, the fence is being drawn again and this time it's blue. The difference between a blue selector and a green selector is very, very, very important. I don't want people clicking and dragging as much to do this fence selection. That's important for you to understand. It's a little bit longer in your workflow. You want to go a little bit faster by just clicking once and then moving the mouse. So it's not a click and drag, it's a click and release. So if I click and release, it forms a rectangle or a selection window. And if I move the mouse again to the left, it's green and broken, and to the right, it's blue and solid. And you'll be able to see the difference very, very easily by just me showing you that. So I will click here and move the green selector down. And as you can see, as the green selector simply touches an object, it becomes included in the selection piece. And then I could go ahead and finish that selection by clicking again and then performing the erase command or any other command. I'm gonna undo that and show you the difference. Now let's say I just wanted to erase one of these circles. I can just use the blue selector by moving my mouse to the right and as you could see the activation of it in the selection does not occur until the object is fully encapsulated within the selection box. So we have a blue selection box and a green selection box. The blue selection box is simply referred to as a regular selection box and the green selection box is referred to as a crossing window. You could kind of consider the green selection box as more of like a, a broad stroke when selecting something to operate or, or like for erasing or copying or moving objects. So if I wanted to just quickly wipe out a whole bunch of these, I could do a streak across the screen like that and just erase them that way very quickly. Or if I wanted to be a little bit more surgical and let's say only grab all the purple boxes, well I'm sorry, all the purple circles, I can just use my blue selector and very, very easily just grab those purple circles and erase them. So that's the erase command and the blue and green selection windows, otherwise known as the regular selection window and the crossing selection window. And remember, you're clicking and releasing, not clicking and dragging to do a fence. Thank you.